Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited to show you guys this solar panel. This is the Rinkmo 120 watt folding solar panel. Now this panel is excellent for its price, its form factor, and the amount of power you get out of it. Now in this video, we're gonna do a brief overview of all the features, and then we're gonna take it outside to do some actual solar testing. Hope you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. The first thing you'll notice is that it's actually a short, long design. And so if someone's looking for a short panel to go in some sort of cabinet or cubby, this would be a great option. Now on the top of the solar panel, there are these two plastic buckles. They hold the whole solar panel together so that it doesn't fall apart when you're carrying it around. And they're very easy to unsnap. There's also two rubberized handles at the top that make it very easy and convenient to carry. Now on the front, you'll notice this large pocket here. This pocket holds all the accessories, wires, and adapters. Let's go ahead and take a closer look inside that pocket. Now, as I went to open up this pocket, I was very impressed with the quality of the zipper. The zipper appears to be waterproof and it actually is pretty hard to open up. So that's a good sign for the IP65 rating. Now, the first thing you notice when you open up the pocket are these 10 different adapters. Now these are 5521 to 10 different sizes you can use on multiple power stations. Now two different cables come with this boulder panel. You have one that's a DC to DC 5521 extension cable. It's about six feet long. One side plugs into the DC output port of the solar panel. The other side would plug into your power station. The second cable is a 5521 to Anderson power pole. It's around the same length, or if you have Anderson power pole on your setup, it's really easy to use this cable. Now they also include a basic user manual to show you how to use the solar panel. Now the junction box inside supports different outputs. You have two USB-A ports that support quick charge 3.0. You have a USB-C port that supports power delivery up to 22 watts. And then you have your 5521 output port that charges batteries or other power stations. As you look at the back side of the panel, you'll see that it has adjustable kickstands. Now these kickstands have three levels of adjustment and it uses a snap to adjust to those three levels. It's a very good design. Now you want to use the kickstands in the fall, winter, and spring when the sun's a little lower in the sky so you get the most efficiency out of your panel. I really like the design of these kickstands and they're very easy to use. Now, if we undo the snaps, we can open up the solar panel. It opens up like a bifold and then each of the sides open up like this. Now this panel has four individual sections. Each one's rated at 30 watts for 120 watts total. Looking closer at the solar panel, it has a PET plastic coating. It has a matte finish so it doesn't reflect away unused light to give it really good efficiency. Okay, so now that we've talked about all the features on the solar panel, let's take it outside to do some solar testing and see how it performs. I'm going to compare it to a few other solar panels and test it on two different batteries. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some solar testing on this Rinkmo 120 watt folding solar panel. Now I have it facing south and it's directly lined up with the sun. Let's see what we're getting. Solar testing conditions are really good today. We have clear skies and the temperature is right around 75 degrees. Okay, so we're getting right around 98 to 100 watts. Now that's 16.88 volts at 5.8 amps. And uh, this is pretty good output for this time of year. So that's the results testing with my lithium iron phosphate battery. Let's go ahead and plug in the EB70 and see what we get on that. Okay, so I brought out my EB70 and I have it directly plugged into the output of the Rinkmo solar panel. Let's see what we're getting. Okay, so we're seeing 94 watts input on the EB70. Okay, so I thought it'd be fair to compare the Rinkmo to this Elikanta 120 watt folding solar panel. So I have this one plugged in. Let's go ahead and see what we're getting. Okay, so this one we're getting around 113 watts. So it's a little higher voltage, 19 volts at 5.9 amps. So we are seeing a little bit more power coming in from this solar panel. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in the Alicanta into the EB70. Okay, trying my best with the lighting here. 113 watts input from the Alicanta on the EB70. Okay, I want to compare the rink mode to one other panel. This is my Rock Pals RP082. This is a 100 watt folding solar panel. Let's see where we're getting on this one. Okay, so the Rock Pals we're seeing around 83.5 watts input. It's sitting around 18 volts and 4.6 amps. Let's go ahead and test this on the EB70. Okay, so on the EB70, we have it plugged in. We're getting 88 watts input. Okay, so what do you guys think of that solar testing? Now, the Rock Pals, the Elikanta, and the Rinkmo are all very similar panels. 
The Alicante is a 120 watt panel like this, so let's talk about that first. Now the Alicante did put out more output. It was 113 watts, and we only saw 98 watts on this. Now comparing it to my other 100 watt panel, this definitely put out more wattage than a 100 watt panel. My Rock Pals only put out 88 watts max. You can basically see that this definitely puts out more power than a 100 watt panel, and a little bit less than what I saw with my Alicante 120 watt panel. Now let's go ahead and talk about pricing on this solar panel. Now there's two available options on Amazon. Well, there's actually three, but two of them are for the 120 watt option. So pricing starts at $159. And then they have a $239 option with a $100 coupon off. So you can get this for $159 or $139. So that's really good pricing on this solar panel. Now the Rock Pals you can currently pick up for $240. That's the most I've ever seen that panel go for. And the Elicanta is sitting at $211. So there is a big price difference between this panel and the other panels. Now in the market and kind of the you know supply issue that we're in right now, prices are gonna fluctuate quite a bit and you're gonna see a little bit higher prices than what we saw earlier in the year. So just be advised, the prices should go down a little bit after all this ends. At least I'm crossing my fingers for that to happen. So if you see a good price and if product's in stock, you may want to pick it up before it's gone. Who knows when it's coming back. Okay, so we're at the final section of the video where I like to provide some pros and cons so you guys can make the best educated decision on if this solar panel is right for you. So let's just dive right into the pros. First off, this is an established product. It's been on Amazon for a while, so if you guys want to find out how it's worked with other people, go ahead and check out the reviews. Another pro to this unit would be the adjustable kickstands. A lot of portable solar panels come with kickstands, but they're not all adjustable. So it's really nice to be able to adjust to the exact angle you need for the most efficiency. Now, another pro to the solar panel would be the cost. It comes in at $159, or if you can find that $100 off coupon, you can get it for $139. So that's an amazing price for what you get. Now, one of the last pros would be the multiple output options. With the junction box, you have two USB-A ports, you have one USB-C port, and then you have the 5521 one DC jack. So you have a lot of different options to charge multiple devices. So I think that's pretty awesome. Now, overall, we did see more output on this solar panel than my other 100 watt solar panel. So the output wasn't absolutely amazing, but it wasn't bad at all. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for around 100 watts of solar in real world conditions. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the cons. Now the first con I want to talk about is the wire gauge for the adapters. Now it's 18 gauge wire. You're going to see a little bit of voltage drop, which is actually going to cause less power to come out of the solar panel. And maybe that's why we didn't see over 100 watts. It's just because those cables have such little wires. I would recommend at least having you know, 14 or 12 gauge wire anytime you have a 100 watt solar panel, especially over a long distance. Now, another con to this unit would be the PET coating. A lot of newer solar panels coming out have a more durable and translucent ETFE coating, which is more scratch resistant and durable. So, so I definitely recommend if they were gonna come out with a new solar panel in the future that it has the ETFE coating. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked all this information. If you guys found the review helpful, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, throw a comment down below. I'm super excited to show you guys this product and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.